Uh, this video is for how to update your original Xbox uh, if you have a modified DVD drive. Um, to me, this is the easiest way. So, if you turn on your Xbox, I already have mine taken apart here because I'm going to show you guys what to do but if you turn on your Xbox and it wants to update and you have a DVD drive with the uh, hacked firmware on it you get an error so let's uh, just check this out here Okay, so it's detecting that there is a uh, update available. So I'm going to go ahead and select yes. And it'll attempt to uh, download the update and put it on the Xbox, but uh, like I said, you'll get an error, and um, I guess the only other way to get around this would be to put new firmware on your drive, and then, um, see, as you can see, the light's blinking, and we have error 66. So what I'm going to do is just take a, uh, I'm going to power this off, and I'm going to unhook my DVD drive, and I'm going to go over here, this is just a broken DVD drive that I have. Um, It doesn't work, but it has the original firmware on it. So what I'm going to do is just swap these, and then uh, we'll try it again. Um, I'll mark it real quick just so you guys can see. All right, so let me uh, swap these out, and I'll be right back, and we'll try this again. Okay, I'm back. We have the new drive is in. Like I said, this drive doesn't even work. And not only that, is uh, this drive has a completely different uh, unlock code on it. It's matched for whatever... Uh, Xbox I took it out of so let's go ahead and power the Xbox on okay starting up says I got an update. Click yes. Let's see if it works this time. Now, the first time I had to do this, I had I had a real old dashboard and um, I couldn't play like any of the newer games so and I couldn't find any newer hacked firmware than I already had on there so what to do so I gave this a shot and uh, it worked All right, things are happening I, th I think it's working See here in a minute, Xbox is doing stuff.
There it goes. It's doing downloading again. So I'm assuming that uh, this is going to take a little while, but um, I'm assuming this is going to work. I've already done this once before. I did it a few months ago. Um, but yeah, if you, it doesn't even have to be the same drive. It could be a completely different uh, drive. Is this is for the uh, original Xbox 360, the Fat. So um, as long as you can plug it in there and hook it up. It has the original firmware on it. Then um, Xbox will go ahead and let you uh, update your console, and then you can put back in your hacked drive and uh, continue as normal. So, to me, this is like I said, it's 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 quick. I mean, I can take an Xbox apart and like a minute swap the drives and uh, put it back together super easy and uh, also like I said there isn't I've found anyways um, any newer firmware hacked firmware um, for my drive um, than I out there there's nothing new out there newer than what I already have so I had no other choice but to figure out a, a, a workaround and um, I had a bunch of uh, had a bunch of broken 360s. I've gotten rid of all of them now, but uh, back when I first tried this, I had a bunch, and um, I uh, I figured I'd give it a shot, and uh, it worked. So if anybody else is having this problem, and you can bar, you know, if you don't have an extra hard um, DVD drive laying around you can borrow your buddies and like I said it doesn't ha it doesn't even have to be the same model it could be you know you could use a, a light on drive as opposed to whatever this one is here um, I can't even read that this is I think a Thompson let me see Yeah, no, it's a Toshiba Samsung drive. This is actually one of the easier drives to to um, modify. All right, she's still going, so this is definitely this is definitely working. Um, but I'll I'll keep it going here just to show you guys. Then uh, what I'll do is I'll put back in my uh, modified drive, and we'll boot up a we'll boot up a hacked game or a burned game, and see if it still works. All right, we are getting getting close. I don't even play uh, burned games anymore. I pretty much have all these burned games. I actually have all these games legit, so I don't even play them anymore. But it's just the fact that I want my uh, I want my Xbox to work uh, at peak performance. So that's why I did did this. And plus, like I said, the first time I um, I was having problems is I couldn't play half of the half of the uh, legit games that I had because it would tell me I had to update and every time I tried to update I get the error 66 and I couldn't play my newer games so I had to uh, update the uh, the Xbox all right it's done it's rebooting and we are 
We are in. All right, just uh, for shits and giggles here, I'm going to... Um, this is the shit drive, but we're going to put in... Um, uh, let's put in Halo Reach. And... Let's see here. reading and it should say play DVD but nothing's gonna happen yeah nothing happened there so now let's put in a legit game Definitely shouldn't read this game either because this drive is not matched up for uh, this Xbox. As you can see, it says play DVD. Alright, let me get that out of there. Now, what I'm going to do is um, put back in my modified drive. And uh, I'll be right back. I'll sh show you that it works. Okay, I'm back, and we got the my original drive with the modified firmware back in the Xbox. Here is the uh, DVD drive that I used to update my Xbox. Powered on here. Okay. Check this because there's actually a disc in it now. I didn't know that. Alright, so we'll first we'll put in a original game. And that should read it and say it's Gears of War. Play game, Gears of War. Okay. So now I will eject this. Let me just use the controller. Probably be a lot easier. And now we'll put in a burned game. And that should read that burned game and uh, come up as Halo. Unless the disc is damaged, play game, Halo Reach. So there you go. If you're having trouble updating your Xbox with hacked uh, DVD firmware, then um, this is how I do it. Thanks for watching. I'm back again. Uh, one more uh, tiny bit of advice. Um, while you have your Xbox apart, if you're having trouble with your uh, tray uh, opening and closing things like that uh, if you look right here this area here a little rubber band uh, just clean that rubber band take a q-tip um, and with some rubbing alcohol and just clean that rubber band and uh, you can take this lid off here if you want and take the uh, rubber band off completely and clean it that way, but um, I find that uh, I don't even have to do that. So yeah, it's one more little tip for you because that's usually the problem. If your uh, tray isn't opening up properly, then um, it's usually just because of that rubber band. Just clean it.
take the rubber band off if you have to and just clean the rubber band and uh, yeah you should be good all right that's it thanks for watching